Let's have a look at question 3 in this video. So it's about perfect competition. We have a perfectly competitive market with the following market demand. So for the entire market, this is the demand. Now, as long as firms have all long run costs as the following function, so that's the cost function for one specific firm, how many firms are there going to be in the long run? So we're interested in the long run. Now recall, what's the criteria for the long run? We know that the price in the long run in equilibrium is going to be the minimum of the long run average cost. So what we're interested in is the long run average cost and minimize that function. We already have the total cost function for a specific firm. We can find out the long run average cost, uh, cost function for that firm. So the long run average cost is going to be just the ratio of the total cost divided by the quantity, which is going to be, which is going to be the following function, 800 plus 800 plus 2Q square divided by Q, which is equal to 800 divided by Q plus 2Q square divided by Q, which is 2Q. Now, this is just the long run average cost curve. We're interested in the minimum point, meaning we want to differentiate the long run average cost curve with respect to quantity and make it zero since remember it is a curve so it has a minimum point we're interested in the derivative equals to zero now let's differentiate this function with respect to quantity we will have the following 800 over q 800 over q plus 2q derivative with respect to quantity and what we're doing now is we're differentiating the long run average cost curve with respect to quantity always wise to write that first so 800 divided by q derivative 800 is the constant q to the power minus 1 derivative with respect to q is going to be minus 1 times q to the power minus 2 by using the power rule plus 2q derivative with respect to q is just going to be 2 equals to 0 now if you work out the math over here we will have minus 800 divided by q square because that's the same as q to the power minus 2 plus 2 equals to 0 Let's take the number to the other side so we can work out <coughs> the math a bit better. Minus 800 divided by Q squared is equal to minus 2. Minus 800 divided by minus 2, they cancel out and we will have only 400 over here. And if we do a cross product, we will have the following relationship that 400 equals to Q squared. And the square root of 400 is going to be 20. Q is going to be 20. It's a... Uh, unnecessary to think about the other option of minus 20 because the quantity has to be positive so that's gonna be the result the quantity that's gonna give us the optimal price this is the quantities that's gonna minimize the long run average cost curve so we're gonna substitute this into the long run average cost curve which is over there which is over there so the minimum point of the long run average cost the minimum point of the long run average cost is gonna equal to 800 divided by 20 plus 2 times 20 800 divided by 20 that's equal to 40 plus 2 times 20 that's another 40 so the price in the long run is going to be equal to 80 the minimum of the long run average cost is going to be also to the price in the long run now since this is the price we can understand now how much demand there's going to be in the entire market because if we have a look at the demand function it's given for the entire market as a function of price and the price in the long run is equal to 80 meaning that the demand in the long run in the entire market so the quantity demanded in the whole market is going to be 18,000 minus 100 times the price 100 times 80 which means we'll have 18,000 minus 8,000 which is equal to 10,000 units in the entire market now recall again that we we calculated the quantity per company per company in the long run is going to be 20 units and since we have 10,000 units demanded in the entire market 10,000 divided by 20 units produced per company is going to give us 500 companies 500 firms in the long run in the market so that's what we're looking for how many firms 500 hope this makes sense and we are done